For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Mass protests have been going on in Brazil since May 6th. The protests have been organized to condemn the murder of 28 people who were killed in a police operation May 6th in Jacarezinho. Jacarezinho is a poor neighborhood in Rio de Janeiro's northern zone. Organizations have pointed out that this is the second largest slaughter in the history of the city. No meio da pandemia, quando dizem para a gente ficar em casa, invadiram casas, becos, a comunidade e barbarizaram. Nós somos obrigados a vir para a rua na luta contra o genocídio da população negra, porque nós precisamos dizer que não dá para desrespeitarem a DPF, que proíbe, o STF proibiu ações policiais no contexto da pandemia, que a orientação é poder ficar em casa, ter o direito de se cuidar. Então, nos matando, além do vírus, pela bala. The victims of the operation targeting drug dealers included 27, quote, suspects, unquote, and one police officer. Two subway passengers and a resident were hit by stray bullets, but survived. Two other policemen were also wounded in the operation. Jacarezinho is controlled by the drug gang Comando Vermelho, CV, or Red Command, and is considered to be one of its headquarters in Rio. Joel Luis Costa, a member of the Human Rights Committee of the Brazilian Bar Association, went to the community on the same day to gather facts. Later on, he shared some of the findings on his Twitter account. We went through Jacarezinho, visited five or six houses, and witnessed the same dynamics. Invaded houses, gunshots, executions. There is no evidence of a crossfire. We're talking about executions. A little boy died sitting on a chair. This is an execution. It is cruelty, barbarism, he reported. Operations like the one in Jacarezinho disrespect the decision of the Supreme Court Minister Edson Fachin in June 2020. Fachin's ruling forbade police operations in poor communities in Rio de Janeiro during the COVID-19 pandemic and was justified by the claim of non-compliance with the fundamental precept number 635. The decision only allows such actions in absolutely exceptional circumstances and imposes that the public prosecutor's office must be notified by the police beforehand. Thus far, none of these entities made any declarations justifying the operation. According to the specialist, such lethal operations could have been avoided with investments in intelligence. Protests continue across major cities in Brazil demanding justice for the victims.